Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Wagner Radian here at George Washington University where we are covering the Humans to Mars uh, Summit, the fifth annual such event. And we're honored to have with us the CEO of Explore Mars who puts this event together, Chris Carberry. So what are you guys trying to accomplish with this uh, summit multi-day event? The acting administrator of NASA is, is here, Mr. Lightfoot. You're going to have Buzz Aldrin uh, talking uh, in the afternoon, which is always a tremendous honor, uh, seeing as how he's devoted his life to space exploration, but also now to get a new generation involved in, in Mars. What are you guys trying to accomplish here? Well, it's a particularly important time. You know, we have now a new administration, new Congress, so we want to make sure that we continue the momentum. We've built up tremendous momentum for getting humans to Mars over the past few years. And it looks like in this new administration, with this new Congress, that momentum is continuing. We're just hoping that we can actually accelerate it so we can actually land humans on Mars by the early 2030s. And why is it so important that we go to Mars? Well, at first off, it's the only planet, the closest planet we can go to where we might be able to prove whether life existed on another planet. You know, there are other places in the solar system that might be the case where there might be life or might have been life, but this is the closest place that humans can go to. But it's also the place where, the closest place that where humans could actually live off the land. There's water there, there's an atmosphere, so we could literally, you know, utilize the water, well, to use it for water, but for oxygen and fuel, and we might be able to grow things on Mars. So we may be able to create sustainability if we can live off the land, we can build up a permanent presence on Mars. There aren't, any, there aren't too many other places we can do that with our current technology. And it's also a, a domestic economic and technology engine, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. From, from just a public perception, you know, from national morale, I think that's one of the most important things as well, which is different than uh, nationalism. You know, when the p country sees that we can still do great things, I think that translates throughout society, the entire economy. But you're right. The technologies that will be required to uh, get there will have tremendous benefits here on Earth as well. So I can see a tremendous economic boost and a lot of technologies that will come out of it. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Best of luck on the conference. Well, thank you very much.